is Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. Thank you for watching How to Buy a Home. All right, your house is under contract or in escrow. Yahoo! <laughs> now, what takes place from this point is a copy of the contract goes to the lender so they can order the appraisal. A copy of the contract goes to the title company so then they can order the title commitment and they, the other people start going to work. Um, and, and the agents are the ones who coordinate it. The listing agent sends off the title work to the title, usually, sometimes it's the buyer's agent. And then the buyer's agent, of course, gets it to the lender, so then they can start processing um, that and putting in the package to the underwriter showing, yeah, this is the house they're going to buy. And they start putting a little bit of know-how on that property by ordering the appraisal. So the title insurance is to make sure that your, t your property is bought free and clear of other liens and encumbrances. And that first mortgage is paid, the second mortgage or whatever else may be on the property um, as a lien on the property. It is paid off so then your house is free and clear of liens and encumbrances. So uh, congratulations. It's always fun to have a house under contract. And this is where a lot of phone calls take place. If, if the bank asks you to bring in your pay stubs, bring them in. They ask you to write a letter because uh, you're getting a gift for the down payment. Write that letter. If they ask you to, to bring your tax returns in or whatever they need, get it to them as quick as possible because it is a processing time that they're putting a good package together of you to, to get that approval, that true hardcore approval on that loan. Um, and then as far as the title goes, the title may ask you for things too. More than likely they're going to ask sellers for, for different things, but not the buyer. But they may. I've had that happen once in, a, once in a blue moon. And you're waiting for that title insurance to come in and you'll review that. So order your inspection. That's what you need to do is get the inspection going. And your real estate agent will help you with that and recommend you know, two or three different inspection people. It matters what kind of inspections you want. You can get on the phone and call around, look on the internet, see what's what. If you want a home inspection, radon, well, septic. If you are buying rural and there's a well and septic, I highly recommend getting separate inspections along with the regular home inspection on the property. It'll cost more, but in the long run it will be well worth it because those are such expensive items to replace. You want to make sure they're functioning all right and that everything's kosher. So yeah, you line up your inspections and get those inspections done. That's your focus. And um, the sooner the better. So, all right. Thanks for watching How to Buy a Home. Um, Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.